the year is finally over it is the best mods of 2023 what's up boo welcome back to my channel i hope you're having a great day and if you're new to my channel welcome to your dark side so excited because it has to take the entire year for me to do this list so without further ado let's go ahead and jump right in in no particular order just in the list that i have coming in at number one is the paradise hotel and resort mod now when i say from day one i was impressed with this mod i was impressed this mod gives you functional hotels and resorts in the sims 4 where your sims can book their stay have their own suite room or single room wherever you want you can download one of the pre-mades or build your own there's room service and housekeeping and now there's like safe biggest thing is to place these in resort locations meaning mount como rebi or selva de Rada. is that what it no it's not what it is I, I have no idea but any but don't place it down in willow creek like i did because it was kind of like out of place but you can place it wherever you want to i'm just saying but when i did it my sims died from like freezing but that was in mount komorebi though because they weren't paying attention so it is what it is anyway moving on but for those of you who want the hotel resort experience in your game make sure you go and you check out this mod coming in at number two it is basemental gambling which gives you functional casinos now i will say i may have kind of sort of started a gambling problem when i first covered this mod but i'm good now i'm better all right unlike my sims who can you know get addictions if you have the basemental drugs mod this mod gives you slots blackjack and roulette which are amazing i am more a fan of the blackjack table because it's easier when it comes to roulette i do love roulette i just don't know what to do and then the slot machines i don't do well at all it doesn't even matter okay you get a new lot type which is casino you also get the ability to use simoleons in exchange for chips and you can also check your balance at any time or if you're on a roll the best thing to do is to cash out i know when i went gambling in vegas i hit the jackpot it wasn't that much and i was like it's time to go okay it's time to go so make sure you do what i do especially when you get this mod coming in number three is the sim care mod Mod. now for those of you who like a little bit more challenging experience when it comes to the sims 4 you may want to check out this mod especially you don't do the normal route of having a job or your sims you know, just can't make their bills but sometimes it happens and you don't want to mother load everything so this mod gives you snap benefits you can apply for unemployment you can apply for disability utility credit child care credit depending on what your sim qualifies for and it will determine how much you can get now you can be a denied but also approved and it will actually put everything in a little bank account for you that you can withdraw from it's a very simple mod but it adds a lot of functionality for gameplay so i highly suggest you go and you check it out all right the next mod is something a little bit more aesthetically pleasing it is the dark mode ui mod which turns your entire ui into dark mode that there are other colors like pink green blue there's like a red orange a purple just depending on what you want and if you want to do build mode there's another mod that they collaborate with another creator that you can get so make sure you go and you check out this mod five this is the immersive social bunny mod those of you who have a social bunny then you know kind of how basic it was when it first came out and to be honest we haven't even gotten an update for it and i don't think we ever will but because we have this mod now this mod gives you over 800 new posts meaning there are over 3100 post options that's from the download post that's not from me that's just what the career wrote and i'm just like that's a lot all right it's a mod as in posts from dropping out of high school graduating being expelled prom there's so many scenarios that you can post now with this mod which to be honest if you want more out of social bunny you need to get this mod so make sure you go and you check it out coming in at number six is the smarter pie menu mod which i think a lot of us have a lot of issues with the new pie menu the sims for finding things and it's so much now in the pie menu that it's just a lot of clutter so with this mod you can actually type to search for what you want so say if you want to hug a sim just type in hug and it will pop up if you want to propose if it's available if you want to get to know which is an interaction i think a lot of us use to get to know sims if we're not going to cheat it then you can do that as well it's simple it gets to the point and it's a lifesaver all right coming in at number seven the morning routine mod which i think is a very cute mod especially for sims who want to have a nice stable routine especially in real life you have a routine for me i get up i check my phone which i shouldn't so don't judge me i go to the bathroom i do my skincare take a shower i eat and then i go into my office to start working you know it might deviate from some things depending on my mood but that's my morning routine and then your sims can have their own morning routine as well which is go to the bathroom shower eat breakfast brush your teeth all that stuff it's autonomous so just keep
keep that in mind but i think it's a cute moss and you should go and check it out coming in at number oh this is getting a lot eight <laughs> is the pole dance mod now you may be wondering how is this the best mod well i like the interactions i like that you can put on a show i like it gives your sims the ability to do a little fitness and dance and it gives a nice activity your sims can do this outside of the norm plus you can make your own studio with it and you can just have fun with it hey that's a win-win there's a tommy for dances your own pole that comes in three different sizes i believe you have to clean the pole and just a lot of things that you can do with this mod so make sure you go and you check it out all right the next mod i want to show you is an interaction mod and it's the more kisses mod now i don't know about you but romance in the sims just by itself is a little lacking that's why we need mods for it so this mod gives you hesitation and kiss tearful tender kiss new interactions new animations new buffs new responses it's so good i just love it so for those of you who want you have more kiss animations you just want your sims to fall in love or you to just look at them and wonder why you're not doing that in real life like i do then you can get this mod the next mod is the dreams and nightmares mod which a lot of us have dreams we have nightmares and now your sims too can get scared by their nightmares and this is more of a back-end mod it's mainly in the buffs, so you can have crazy dream romantic dream music dream gorgeous dream a sad nightmare a deadly nightmare tickets nightmare or an eerie nightmare which gives the appropriate buff and mood change for your sims depending on how it happened your sims will wake up either happy or scared or sad yeah dream catcher this mod is so good and it adds a lot of realism into the game all right the next mod is a mod that a lot of us wished we had especially because it was in previous games is the realistic zodiac signs mod which gives personality gameplay random emotions there's incompatible signs depending on like you're a cancer you're incompatible signs in aries by the way i'm an aries so i feel like i get along with everybody but no it is what it is okay capricorns you're not compatible with gemini <laughs> gemini's you're not compatible with, Cap with capricorns leos aren't compatible with gemini i hate that for gemini it's just like what's going on over here so yeah if you want some less zodiac signs make sure you go and you check out that mod the next mod is the sim sim online store think amazon but for your sims and for anything in the galaxy because yes you can order a lightsaber with this <laughs> oh my god you can order a lot with this mod so you can do outdoor vacation hobbies and leisure printed products garden floristry pets and animals basically anything in the game or almost anything in the game like cakes you can order directly to your sims and it will get delivered you can order food black and bass chili i don't know if you really want to do that but it is what it is <laughs> supermarket and groceries it's cute gameplay where you have to sign up and you get like a welcome gift which i thought was a nice little touch but yeah go ahead and check out this mod okay so the next mod it didn't technically come out this year but it kind of did but it's a revamped version of a mod that we've known for a while it is the fashion and beauty mod from the slice of life mod pack which gives you expressive facial overlays bad breath and oral hygiene beauty and skincare stylish hair and fashion social interactions makeup cologne and so much more for those of you who are familiar with slice of life then you know how big this mod was but but it went away it came back revamped and now they're in individual mod packs and i thought technically it's a new mod it's just revamped so that's why in this video the next mod is a very simple mod it is the functional wall phone now for those of you who love the days of wall phones in previous sim games and probably in real life then this mod allows you to have that nostalgia there are three different versions of the phone that you can choose from you can order delivery you can turn on autonomous calls which will call you maybe for pranks or whatever happens i forgot i just know they usually call me at 2 a.m and i'm actually quite mad you can travel with it purchase a business with it hire service basically anything you can do with the phone the you know the regular phone ui you can do with this wall phone so make sure you go and you check it out the next mod is a mod that i really enjoyed when i first got it so it is the personal chef mod which gives you a whole new career in the sims 4 a very active career if i do say so of course we're familiar with personal chefs and how they work same concept in the sims 4 the sim would be able to cook and visit other people cook for them you can ask to be hired as a personal chef or you can use the event and schedule who you want to go cook for be friend with your client ask what your client wants to eat and make your client drinks they can tell you specifically what they want to eat or just tell you to wing and do what you want and that's pretty self-explanatory the mod is straightforward and you can also use the calendar to decide what days or who you're chefing for on who which i thought was a nice touch so yeah go and check out this mod next mod is a cute mini set it is the projector which your sims can use for a nice romantic or friendly or whatever they want it comes with the projector and it comes with the cloth that your sims can use it works 
this just like a TV, but in projector form. And I thought it was cute. So that's why it's in this video. The next mod is movie time, which we were just talking about movies with the projector, which I think will go great with this. It gives you realistic movies that your Sims can watch like Ratatouille, Shrek, Madagascar, Kung Fu Panda, Beetlejuice, you know, whatever movies are available. There are a lot of your Sims can choose from. You do have to download them individually. Just keep that in mind for the mod to work. And you can download them all or you can download a little bit. It's a quick FYI. It shows the clips of the movie, not the entire movie. You can also invite people over. You can have a day with it, a holiday, like watch a movie. If you want to have that sort of relationship with different Sims, I thought it would be perfect for your game. So make sure you go and you check it out. All right, moving on to the next section of this video, which is food and kitchen. This is the functional sodas mod, which gives you functional sodas in the game. Functional sodas that we know. So like Fanta, Dr. Pepper, Pepsi, and you can ask your Sims can actually drink them. There are eight swatches. You can energize your Sims with it, which, you know, caffeine does when you're drinking soda. So I thought, you know, why not? So make sure you go and you check out this mod. Next mod is the functional blender, which another straightforward mod. You get blender, but you can also make protein shakes. For so if your Sims are on a health kick or they just like smoothies like that, your Sims can make, you know, whatever they want, such as a protein shake, blueberry, herb, peach, raspberry, strawberry, vanilla. You can add in some protein powder with it. It's cute animations, cute functionality with the blender itself, cute swatches. So make sure you go and you check it out. Next mod is another utensil or is it utensil? I don't really know, but it's the home barista espresso, espresso, espresso machine, which gives you coffee, espresso, flat black, milk, baby chino, Americano, espresso, macchiato, mocha, and things you can make home. 14 different coffees to make, 14 different swatches for the espresso machine itself. So make sure you go and you check it out. Next is the food shop delivery mod, which gives you another delivery system that your Sims can choose from. I will say this is a very expensive service. Reminds me of Uber, okay? There are 20 packs of food from sandwiches, cakes, sushi, salads. It, the food looks delicious. I wish I can get it myself. I, I really do. Your Sims will get a nice delivery person. Everything will come pre-packaged. Nice functionality where your Sims can open up the containers, start eating with it. Packaging is also a plus, just a quick FYI in my book. So I thought I would include this mod. So make sure you go and you check it out. The last mod in the food and kitchen is the Toast E Maker, which uses the new system we got with the waffle maker. And to be honest, I'm so hungry right now recording this video that I'm like, why am I doing food? But you can toast up to cheese, ham and cheese, cheese and tomato, cheese and onions, tuna melt, bean filled, pop tarts, fluff or nutter, buttered toast. It gives you so many options you can, your Sims can choose from. It's a cute little machine, but so make sure you go and you check it out. Moving on to the skills. These mods give you new skills it is the playable harp, which your Sims can play the harp. It gives you the harp itself, animation of your Sims playing the harp, and it gives you a nice little music that your sims can choose from and also another avenue in your sims instead of what we have in game like the violin or the guitar or the piano and right after that is the archery skill which again gives your sims a nice skill that they can choose from your sims can choose from three different targets and of course learn how to use archery with different bows and i believe different arrows as well so make sure you go and you check out this mod the next section is the relationship the first mod is the kiss and grind mod which i sing its praises every time i can this mod gives you, I believe, four, I want to say four or five, four or five new animations with drunken kiss, intimate kiss, intimate slow dance, passionate makeout, and sensual grind. Each one of these options gives you a new animation that just, I would say, turns your blood to fire because they're just so good, okay? If you don't believe me, just look at the screen, okay? It's, it's getting hot and heavy in my game, and to be honest, I'm kind of mad it's not me. But yeah, make sure you go and you check out this mod. The next mod is the conversation starter pack, and I think in real life, too, you don't know how to start a conversation. So with this mod, you can have some predetermined interactions that your Sims can choose from, such as I notice you around here a lot. I've been meaning to introduce myself. What do you do in your free time? You seem like a really nice person, which to be honest, I don't know if that really starts a conversation. That's like a, a thank you. Like, like, what do you say in that instance? I don't really know. But it is like anything exciting going on this week, which I don't even know I would tell a stranger that. But you know what? It is what it is. And this mod gets to the point. So make sure you go and you check it out. The next mod in this section is the Expanded Storytelling Relationship Bits mod. Now, before I knew about this mod, I didn't know I needed this mod. This mod's primary function is to give you more storytelling within your relationships for The Sims 4. So unfortunately, the 
Sims doesn't give you this, but and it is usually relied on your memory and how you interact. But you get these labels such as if you know these Sims, or you were star crust lovers, or you were music collaborators, partners in crime, jealous rivalry with the Sim, you were romantic wanderers, you were study buddies when you were in school, you had a puppy love with this person, you were high school sweethearts, a summer romance with this person is giving Greece summer loving. Have me a blast. I'm sorry, the minute I can sing Greece, I will sing Greece. <laughs> you had a long distance love with this person. Shows up in the relationship panel, and I thought that was a nice touch. So, yeah, make sure you go and you get this mod because it gives you so much for storytelling and gameplay relationships. Right, the last section is in the family gameplay. And for those of you who are wondering, I don't play a lot of family gameplay a lot. But the first mod is the Audrey Playhouse mod, which I thought was adorable when I first got it because it gives your Sims a new playhouse, functional. Your Sims can go in, they can play, put in the backyard. I will say, make sure you have a big backyard because the playhouse is pretty big because your Sims need, you know, be able to, you know, move in and go through it. Mainly your toddler. So just keep that in mind. And then the last mod of this video is the functional diaper bag which if you have any mods that allows you to carry things additional for your sims especially the babies if you're traveling with them you can carry this diaper bag along with you it's functional again and it works like a storage space but it looks like a cute diaper bag that your sims can have you can throw it in your own inventory you can put it out in the world do whatever you want with it and it's, it's just so adorable but that is the end of this video i hope you enjoyed it i hope you enjoyed the mods on this list i will say these are the best mods in my opinion of 2023 there were so many new mods this year it was hard for me to just narrow it, the list down even though this list is pretty huge oh my god <laughs> i covered so many mods on this channel and i can't wait to do it all again in 2024 don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel and i'll see you next time bye boo